What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. So today we are talking about The Witcher. So like always, I have a few notes on my phone about the show itself and there's not much to go into with the show. It's a really popular show and I haven't read the books, I haven't played the games, but I know some information about the games. So going into this, I knew who Geralt was. I knew that Ciri would be his daughter and everything. Um, I didn't know the two timelines were of different periods. I didn't know there were two timelines, but that was something I'll get into later on. Basically, going through these episodes, this show is just so messy. Like, some people will think that means I don't get what's going on. I understand what's going on. I understand pretty much everything that's going on and what's happening with the characters and where they are. But it's just so rushed, it's just so messy in how it's done. The first episode has so much exposition. The show itself doesn't also make it clear that there are two different timelines. Maybe it's done to surprise you, to shock you, and when they all converge and you realise, wait a minute, what's Geralt doing in Sintra when Sintra's already been sacked in the first episode? I don't know why they did it that way. Like I wrote in my notes, an example of how to bring two timelines together or bring stuff together is shown in Dark, which is another Netflix show, which I haven't seen the second season of, but the first season does a really good job at that. The writing in the show is really bad. Like I said, there's so much exposition, exposition, but at the same time, there's also no real explanation of things going on. So when we see Sintra get sacked in the first episode, I don't care about the characters. I've only seen them the one time. And maybe it's meant to make me care for them when I see Sintra get sacked again later on. But at that time, I already know that they get sacked. I already know that who dies and who lives. So that connection with them isn't really there. Despite there being flashbacks, despite them, some of them getting more screen time later on. Like, I'm going to give one quick example of the writing before I move on. And that's when um, Yennefer is um, asked by that mage, lady mage. I can't remember the name. I don't remember many of the names. Lady Mage to chuck in her friends, the eels or whatnot, into the water. She says no, and then the Lady Mage says yes, and that apparently convinces her to come and do it. I also don't get what's going on with her becoming a mage. Why did she become a mage? Why didn't her friends? Maybe it's explained, but it's so confusing in how it's done. Why, why is all this happening? Why do these mages control everything? Why don't they just have enough power to just you know, rule over the people. If that the brown mage later on who went to where Yennefer was meant to go, if she, if they knew she was like making Highland or whatever, there, Nilfgaard, whatever powerful and going to rule and whatnot, why didn't they stop her beforehand? Why did they wait until something happened to stop her? Because these mages are meant to be really powerful. So what's going on? Moving on from all that confusingness, Geralt is really well done. I like Henry Cavill as the um, character and whatnot. He doesn't do much until like the final episode, which is where we get actual development for him. Because before then, he's really just brooding and he's really just killing monsters, which is what I'd expect from the show. So I have no problem with that. But the problem is him and Yennefer have a romance and I just don't feel it. He, he gets so involved with so many people. He has such a connection with so many people. I just, I don't feel these connections as an audience member. They already exist in the world or they get developed off screen or they get developed in such a muddled way where I don't care for it. Him and Yennefer being together and whatnot, I don't care. Him and that Bob, the singing guy or whatnot, that's the only connection I actually care for. But then there's a 10 year time jump where they don't see each other and neither of them seem to age a day. I get why the Witcher won't, but why doesn't the Bob age a day? Why does no one really age considering there's a 10 year time jump, 12 year time jump from Geralt in the start of the season to him at the end of the season. It's just, it's just so messy like that. And that's just the whole thing surrounding the series as a whole. It's so messy, it's so confusing and nothing's explained. Like the whole mage system, at one point Yen and this other geologist mage guy, they're having sex and it just doesn't... I don't know why there are people there cheering them on. Why are they even having sex? What connection do they have? Because I didn't think they had a romantic connection at all. But they seem to for some reason. I don't know why um, Yen feels like she has to... She like owes the lady major favor. Like what type of relationship did you guys have? You guys didn't have one in a relationship. And then with the majors itself, they like teleport. 
they can do everything but there's no real ex like the explanation for anything in the show is just magic is there like um i take the law of surprises bam you're gonna be a father just like that there's like magic uh oh, these mages can do everything they can like kill people just like that but they can't defeat an army at what point does the person who does this in the final battle and just kills people outright struggle there's a mage who used to be a knight as well but then he doesn't use any magic in his fight against that the black armored warrior but he just uses magic to get out more swords it's, why don't you use magic to just teleport around and stab him and do all these things real quickly and whatnot so while the show is confusing and I've made that extremely clear, there are some positives. It looks really great. The show only looks bad in a few moments where the CGI is not that great. The dragons don't look all that amazing, but the cinematography for the most part, the beautiful landscapes, everything looks so great. The music is nothing amazing, but it's definitely good and it's nothing that really irritates me per se. Most of the acting is fine. Um, it's just really the writing and directing that really lets this show down. Um, beyond that, I think the way that the show ends with this final battle, it wasn't that epic. Whatever was going on was pretty underwhelming. It also ended on such a bad way when Siri and Geralt really finally meet each other. Siri, for some reason, runs up to him and hugs him, even though she has no confirmation that that's Geralt. And then she asks, well, I guess she has the confirmation that she saw him in the vision and whatnot, but I'd still be a little suspicious considering she saw one of Mouse Sack as a doppelganger and he was a bad guy and whatnot so you'd be a little cautious still I imagine especially when her old friend Anton also betrayed her and whatnot she seems way too happy to meet him um, but beyond that the last thing this show says is who's Yennefer and then it ends and I'm just like is that really all that was such a disappointing way to end this season I'm no in no way so intrigued in the next season because there's only two mages I care for and I think there's only there's only one mage I care for, Yennefer, and don't really care for her all that much. The only characters I care for is Geralt, even Ciri I don't really care for because I don't know really anything about her. So I think none of these characters really have much characteristics in them, at least to my knowledge, and it's just... This show is very overrated. It's definitely not worth the high scores that I see a lot of audience members give it. To be honest for me, The Witcher Season 1 is like a 5 out of 10. It's mediocre, it's got some great moments, but the writing and the storytelling, just directing, is just so bad. Even the action sequences are pretty mediocre. A lot of them happen in the dark, which makes it hard to see things. At one point, the Witcher defeats a monster just by letting it see the light of day. And I'm just like, there was this whole complicated way to make that curse happen, but to break the curse, he just hid in a box, and then the shine, shine, shining of the light happened and whatnot. He didn't even, we didn't see him utter a prayer, maybe he was meant to, I don't know if he did off screen, but we didn't see it happen, so to me, it didn't happen. And it's just very messy and whatnot, everything, and it's just a 5 out of 10, like, yeah. So you know, I'm clearly disappointed by this show, but let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about the show. Did you like it? Didn't you like it? Are you excited for season 2? Other than that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'll see ya.